Hey YouTube, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to make 3D objects and 3D materials incredibly easy with this tool right here. Uh, what's cool about this tool is you can move it into any forward or backward layer just by just by pressing whatever button you map it to. And wherever you put it is where an object will be emitted. So as you can see it works in the forward and the background as you can see by the microphones and stuff. Uh, so yeah, now I'm going to show you how to make it. Um, you start off by taking out a sackbot. Now open up the sackbot and pause and put a microchip. Um, what we're making is a destroyer, so you can actually save this and destroy some like anything you want <laughs> with it, which I'll probably demonstrate. Um, take out a not gate and a danger, I mean not a danger to a destroyer. Uh, set it to um, include no rigid connections and I like to set it to explode. Now, wire the knot gate into itself, which will create this, which is uh, an infinite loop. And wire it into the destroyer and save the microchip if you want. Okay. Now, unpause and place it on, on the sackbot. And then, right when you place it, pause again. Now, right where the sackbot was, highlight downward and you should find this little box. This is a um, a dead sackbot hitbox. Uh, now turn on grid snap and make it four blocks big because I think it's a pretty nice size for putting logic on it. And in your tools bag pull out a controlinator. At first when you put the controlinator it'll be like in front of it a lot so all you really have to do is just sort of move it again and it should go back okay now take out um, in little big planet one you should have the object called terrible oni take that out from the dangerous creatures section and place them down now take this emitter right here and select it and copy it now put it on here so it straightens out and move it back down to uh, move it back down onto the sackbot now when you tweak it well for one you'll notice that in the object slot is a media molecule employee I don't know why they decided to choose his face as the object but uh yeah so now back onto the um uh controlinator take out a advanced mover and wire the left and right control stick of the left stick into here and the up and down into the up and down you can make this whatever speed you want but i'm just gonna have it to 10 now change the deceleration all the way to 100% which will in turn change the acceleration to 100% too. Now take out a what's it called a direction combiner which I forgot where it was there it is. Take out a direction combiner and a in out mover. Now since um, the buttons for moving objects back and forth is L2 by the way you can't select this you just sort of have to highlight it to select it since uh, the moving layers is L2 and R L2 and L1 that's what I'm gonna make um, the moving in and out buttons so you do L2 right here and you do it positive because moving positive would move it. 
positively. And do the same with L1, and just connect it in there. Okay, now up, oh, we didn't get, we didn't wire the emitter. Well, first I'm going to delete him, because he is not needed anymore. Um, now wire X, or whatever button you want, to the emitter. Okay, now get in the controlinator, and you'll notice that when you go in the background and in the foreground, it just it just lets you. Uh, this is because for some reason, I don't know why, um, the broken Sackbot and the terrible Oni emitter both have 3D properties, so they can move wherever they want in the layers. I don't know why it just happens but that makes this tool incredibly awesome and really easy to use alright so now take out a piece of light matter put it down and now copy the object right there you can also save it and put it in but I just like to use this slot it faster. And now change the input action to emit once. And change the lifetime to infinite. And the rest can stay the same. Unless you want to have more emitted. You just delete that. And however far you back you go, you can just sort of place blocks and stuff. And this is really, really, really useful for putting objects into the background because all you have to do is tweak the emitter, pick something you want to put, and even though it looks like it's in the uh, forward layers, if you place it and emit it, it's in the background. So that's incredibly simple. Um, so yeah. Oh, and to make um to make 3D Hold on. Hold on a sec. To make 3D um uh materials uh what you do is you take a material, you put it in the background however far you want it. And then go in the foreground for hour before you want it. Or you can just sort of have it in the regular layers. <clears throat> and just highlight these both. And copy it. And then go back into your poppet without, um, without, uh, hitting the, uh, poppet again. Just, just sort of go back and choose a material and it will be 3d okay so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully it wasn't too confusing and I hope that you can uh, make some pretty cool 3d stuff with it um, I'm glitchmaster7 uh, subscribe like and all that stuff goodbye